Hi, I'm Mark Bailey, Director of Sustainability and Planning at Cardiff Airport. Yeah, we've been preparing for quite a while. Um, we do annual pavement inspections on the runway um, every year. Um, this basically tells you the condition of the runway, so we've known for quite a while that it was coming around for resurfacing. Um, we actually appointed design team back in 2023 to do drawings and specification, tender documents. We then went out to tender March 2024 to the open market, to the various contractors, and we appointed a contractor in September 2024 with a view to starting on site November 2024 and currently on site uh, still completing the works. Okay, so the main challenge is obviously working around the operation. So when we scoped the project out initially, we decided the best time to do this would be at a quieter period, which is night time at winter. Great operationally because it, it gives minimum um, impact on the operation and allows that to carry on running. But in terms of construction work, it's an absolute nightmare. The, work, the worst time to work at night in the winter. Okay, so excluding our operational team, because I mean, our operation team, we would have had the airfield ops guys doing escorting, security team out there, the, the site support team um, also uh, involved in the project doing their various bits around it. But if you just look at the contractor team, every night on the runway research and there's about a gang of 90 uh, operatives coming out onto site um, doing the work with all the plant and equipment going through there all coordinated you know work, working around the work as planned. So the old asphalt um, the, the, the planings have come off site uh, majority has gone back to the plant, to the asphalt works, that's been recycled and going back into other asphalt mixes, uh, so sort of lower grade mixes such as paving or, or some road surfaces. Uh, some of the planings have been retained on site and reused in the ground, so we, as part of the works we're doing some fillets on the corners and some of those planings have gone into the base and the excavation works for that spilled material. So the total area resurfaced is about the equivalent of nearly 14 football pitches. The runway rehabilitation project, as we call it, consists of a, of, of a few different areas. So we've got the runway resurfacing works itself. We've got some fillets which are uh, widening corners as you come off the runway onto taxiways. Um, we're actually recabling our primary circuits for our AGL airfield ground lighting. Um, and we also recabling on the approaches as well. As well as that, we're changing centre line light fittings and edge light fittings and the approach lights to LEDs as well. So, so in terms of the specifically the airfield ground lighting, um, we've removed um, about 78 centre line fittings, um, about 80 edge light fittings on the runway. Um, they're all changing from high, high output um, halogen to LED, so obviously more efficient fittings going in. Again, the uh, approach lights have been changed from halogen fittings to LED, so again, more efficient fittings going in. The airfield ground primary cable circuits are being changed as well. They're sort of end of life, so again, that gives more efficiency in terms of the running and, and the lower energy output required to run those lights. So the, the runway works, like I said, started physically January um, on site with that, finished March. The, we're about 80% through the recabling of the runway lights. Um, that'll be finished mid-April time. And then the air is outside the airfield, so the approaches that will run on till um, mid to end of July and be complete then. So overall, it's about a seven month project. It's been a great project, yeah, it's gone really smoothly. Um, key to it has been, there's been a lot of communication. We've had a great contractor, great contractor team. Our, our team at the airport and stakeholders have been fantastic. You know, everyone's pulled together. Communication's been brilliant. You know, every day we're having go, no-go meetings to, to work through the planning. So it's just a big thank you to everyone.